Okay, bye YouTube members. I'm getting ready to film the video. So just got done filming a video where I show my YouTube members behind the scenes of me getting here. And I want to say, I'm so excited. 100,000 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you everyone for your support. Thanks to everyone that said subscribe to P. Dinah so she can get to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you to everyone who supported that. Thank you to all the people that have subscribed. And I just, I am so appreciative because to know my story is to understand why I'm here right now. Is to understand why I'm speaking here. Why I even have this dog in my lap is to know my story. Because me 10 years ago, this, this right here with a dog would have never happened. I never could have imagined either having a YouTube channel and having a voice where people would listen and support the things that I say that I'm passionate about. Because there was a whole me around what I say now before this YouTube channel. I was saying the things that I am saying now but to young people through my nonprofit, through my charity. It's no different. This has just given me a wider platform so that you have found me to hear what I have to say. And then of course, coupled with my fascination with the Princess Diana, Diana Princess of Wales, as I know to be the official name of her because you guys have taught me so much. And this is why I do what I do. I love it. It's me, it's my passion. So thank you, thank you, thank you. To everybody who supports me, I am so grateful. Now, really quickly, as you guys have may have heard from my last video, I am going to be in London, England for the King's Coronation. And I'm also going to have an event the day before the coronation. And if you want to come, hear me speak, get some goodies, take some selfies, have some fun with me, P. Dinah, and learn a little bit more, a little bit more about me, there is a um, way to sign up for the event. Just email me at pdina 49 at aol.com to get on the list to be sent the information and I will send you the information so you can buy your ticket and have some fun with me while I'm in England. It's gonna be a two hour breakfast and I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. Also, Later today, I'm going to try to finish it because I have to do all the subtitles because the audio may have not been that great for the attorney. But I did speak with an attorney who gave some insight on Megan and Samantha's case, lawsuit case, Samantha's lawsuit around uh, defamation against her sister. I spoke with an attorney and I'm going to be uploading that uh, later today as soon as I get the subtitles finished, which I'm hoping will be today. If not today, it will be tomorrow. I promise you it is coming. Okay, with that said, we so we know that Harry and Megan have a charity, and I have a charity as well. I do. I don't get paid. I certainly don't get paid millions of dollars to do what I do. Charities stem from people that come together in the community that want to do good. They want to use their their likeness or they want to bring together like-minded people to talk about ways that we can do good in the community. This is why people start charities. Harry and Megan have started a charity so that they can become millionaires through their charity, which is completely unethical. It's not okay to do. And usually people do it that already have money or like how I've done it, bring people together to start a charity to do good in the community. This is why people start charities. You don't start a charity so that you can become a millionaire or to make money from people donating money to you. That is completely unethical. And I'm really surprised at the 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 the, the ballsiness of Harry and Megan. It's like it's like for real, for real, for real. Like it's it's like one of those that comes to mind for me. Like you're starting a charity so that you can funnel millions of dollars from donations to do good things, so people can pay you the millions as the figureheads of this charity, and then you kind of throw a little bit of scrap change out there to other people so that they can see that oh, I'm doing good in the community. Uh, -uh. something's wrong. Something is very wrong with that. So. They have apparently they worked one hour a week, one hour a week, folks. Do you know how many hours a day I have to work for my charity? I work morning to night and fit in these videos in between the working, hustling and not making a dime from it. Everything that I do so 
luckily, thanks through this YouTube thing, I can give some money and make some money for my charity. But these little wackadoos have made $13 million working one hour a week. It's, it's, it's appalling. It's sickening. It's disgusting. And there's something very wrong here. It's unethical. You're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed. It's, it's, it's so wrong. So let's look at what has happened. So Harry and Meghan, they vowed to become financially independent after abandoning work as royals. But how much labor are they actually putting in? How much labor are they actually putting in? I would say not enough to warrant them making these millions of dollars. And that right there was a telltale sign when they said they needed to be financially independent. Oh, so what do they do? The first thing that they do to become financially independent is start a charity. That right there was the clue that they were going to do something sinister with making this money through this charity because they said they left the royals to be financially independent. Hello. They told us that they were going to do this. They reported they hit the charity grind just one document an hour a week in 2021 is what they actually worked. The IRS filing posted to, to their website revealed that the Beverly Hills based organization raised just over 13 million from donors, 10 million coming from one exceedingly generous private benefactor, which I believe was Oprah Winfrey. This is how she is buying her access to them by donating money to their charity. My opinion. Reps for the Archwell Foundation declined to comment, but an insider told the Post that reports of H&M hardly working paired with standard tax documents failed to paint a, va a factual full picture of the work being accomplished by the duo's charity. They transitioned from the UK to the US and they set up this Archwell. Holt first joined the board of the nonprofit without compensation, according to the source. Mm hmm. So before later, assuming the role of CEO, executive director, which is the role that I have for my charity. Meanwhile, there have been multiple reports about staff turnover at Archwell, including the high profile exits of two major executives. And I'm also wondering, well, what do these executives make? What was their salary? And, and as you can see, they've got these donations and they've made salaries out to people. But at the same time, Harry and Meghan are definitely going to be benefiting from some of that money. A medley of other expenses were also reported in the tax filing, including $427,000 in legal fees. Okay, excuse me. Excuse me. Hold up. Wait a minute. Stop. Stop the horses. What legal fees? Are you fighting a lawsuit? Are these legal fees that are going towards Harry and Meghan's private lawsuits for their shadiness? It, or is are these legal fees for setting up the foundation? Because I know you don't spend four hundred and some twenty seven thousand dollars on legal fees doing the work that they have done. Because I've managed to do it with very little in terms of legal fees. Some of these services are free from law firms for charities. So how is it that they're spending this much on legal fees? That right there is questionable to me. How can you have over four hundred thousand dollars in legal fees when you just started? They're funneling their royal, their legal fees through their charity. That's what it looks like to me. Beyond their one hour per week gigs, Markle and Harry's many paid work endeavors include the Invictus Games Foundation's record setting memoir, Spare, and the Los Angeles native Spotify podcast, um, Archetypes. They're making money through Mayor Harry's book, Spare, which we know it has been to trash his family. I mean, people can applaud him for wanting to leave the royal family. Go do you, boo. Go do what you do. But do you got to trash your family in the process? Do, do you really have to do that? That's that right there shows you that their leaving the royal family was intended to build themselves up while also tearing down Harry's family. And they also made money from archetypes. Megan made millions of dollars from that. Why didn't they donate their millions of dollars of their own money to their own charity? That's what you usually do, but that's not what they did. They took their money, they pocketed, and it looks like they took the money that was donated to use it to pay for legal fees. 
because of their nonsense, their private nonsense. This podcast was reported at between 15 and $18 million um, with Spotify, which we know Spotify got in real big trouble when that happened because they had to end up laying off people. Like people lost their jobs at Spotify because they paid Meghan Markle so much money. It didn't have the return that they thought it would. So Meghan and Harry leaving the royal family, they have essentially come over to America and cost people their jobs. That's how you look at it. Essentially, it's like, uh oh, they coming from from the UK to America. Uh oh, I better see if my job is secure <laughs> because these companies, these corporations think that they can invest in these wackadoos and that it's going to have a return and a payoff when it doesn't. And then people who are working real, real jobs, making hardly any money to, to, to support themselves are the ones paying the price for them coming over here, making absorbent amounts of money. Are you hardly doing anything? It's just insanity. It's so insane how people that don't have a platform have to work so hard to do what they do. And they can just waltz over here with a title on their back. <laughs> you know, oh, I got a title on my back. Shoot, I'm coming over to America with a Dutch and a Duchess of Sussex and I'm going to make me millions of dollars. Like that's essentially what they did. They waltz their little heinies over here to America with something that they did not deserve with these titles and got millions and millions paid to them. And now what? For at least those at Spotify lost their lost their jobs because of this woman. Um, her pre Harry lifestyle blog, the TIG in the near future. We know that is coming as well. So according to a document filed with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office and seen by the Post, a potentially rebooted version of the website would consist of articles and interviews about a variety of topics. Pieces about food and cooking, recipes, travel, relationship, fashion, design, and interior, lifestyle, culture, design, conscious living, health, and wellness, and all that kind of stuff. Just throw it in a big bucket and say, okay, I'm going to do all this on my website, the TIG. <laughs> you know, it's like she wants to do everything. Like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about my family. I ain't going to talk to my family. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do it all. <sighs> My goodness, the insanity of this couple, what they do, what they do. So anyway, it's just looking at what has happened. I can really appreciate the nonsense of this couple and a much better perspective because of their IRS filings. How much money was donated and what they actually did to really contribute to something that they started there was no self-sacrifice. There was no committing to helping others through our consuming less. That's not what has happened. If anything, they got it because, you know, they wanted to have a charity to get money from the charity. Three per three million dollars is, is a drop in the bucket to what they actually used to help people when they got in 13 million. They, it's just it's, it's it's just like, you know, looking at. Harry and Megan and their lifestyle and what they've come over here to America to do and really fully understanding that them coming to America was not going to really benefit anybody in the real sense. It was not going to really be the most good for the real vulnerable people that really need the help. It was going to be created to fuel their uber luxurious. I'm entitled because I have a title type of lifestyle. That's what this charity was created to do.